Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirits. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, gave great grace to you and peace. From him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying, the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Phesius, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands, lampstands say this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious are will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. <coughs> for the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing the crowd go by, he inquired what was happening. 
They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. So he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once the Gospel of your sins be wiped away. We're in the last couple of weeks of the year, the liturgical year. <clears throat> Very soon, uh, it will be Advent again, uh, starting of a new year, but we're at the end of the year. And as the church enters the final weeks of its calendar, we start looking into end things, the last things, the ending of things. And our readings fit in very well with that today. Um, our first readings uh, in Revelation, Jesus is warning the church of Ephesus, saying, oh, you were great and wonderful, and there was such zeal in your hearts for me. And you're losing your zeal, and you're getting tired. And if you get tired of me and you start getting lax, I will remove your, your lantern. Uh, I will remove my favor from you. Uh, and he says, you need to return to the zeal that you had for me, this, the love that you had for me. Find that love again and live it again. And that's, that's what he's saying in the first reading there. And here, it's, it's actually somewhat similar. Uh, Jesus is passing through, approaching Jericho, and there's a blind man there who hears he's going by, and he says, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And Jesus stops, and he has the man brought over to him. He says, what do you want from me? He says, Lord, please let me see. And Jesus, recognizing the faith that this man will come, out, come to him out of nowhere and say, you can help me to see. Help me to see. And Jesus blesses him because of his faith. And actually through the power of his faith in, in many ways. Because God will never force himself on us. But if we have faith in God and we call on God and we ask him to please live in our lives and to help us with our lives. He does that. He'll never force himself on us. But if we ask for him beg for him then he will certainly come and fill our needs and Jesus gives this man sight and as we've seen in the past when Jesus gives sight to a blind man it's not just visual sight and it is it is physical sight but it's more than that it's insight as well and what do we hear about this he immediately received his sight and followed him giving glory to God he didn't go on about his life the life that he used to have, perhaps. When he followed Jesus because he has not just sight, but sight. And perhaps uh, he uh, may have had sight previously. We don't know in this, in this reading. Uh, perhaps he had lost his eyesight and Jesus is returning it to him. And that uh, ties very closely then with our first reading. The people who were, had the zeal and the love of Christ and then were losing it in Ephesus. Or not as, not as zealous as they were. And it was fading. And Jesus told them, you need to bring the zeal back. And here, this man lost his sight. And Jesus helped him to get it back. We ourselves, we come to Mass we have a zeal for Christ, but after these many years, perhaps our zeal is getting a little bit tarnished. 
we're getting a little tired. We believe and we still come and we still pray and we still hope. We still trust. But we get on with our daily lives as well. And maybe our faith is not as, as vibrant as it was. And maybe it needs to become vibrant again. These are the final days, the winding down days of the year. Makes us think of the final days, the winding down days of our lives. And we need, especially when we go, we want to have the zeal of Christ in our hearts burning. We want the Holy Spirit to lift us up and keep us moving and always belong to and live in and God live in us. Let us not lose our zeal. Let us not fade from the gifts that God gave us. Because if we fade too much, when Jesus puts out the lamp, if we don't use what he gives us, then he takes it away. So let us use what he gave us and let us inflame our hearts for Christ and for the love of God and for the love of all of God's people. With open and trusting hearts, let us bring our petitions before our loving God. For all bishops, may the Holy Spirit fill them with wisdom as they shepherd their flocks in the path of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those throughout the world who do not know Christ, may the Holy Spirit kindle in them a desire for the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are homebound, may the Lord comfort them with his presence and fill them with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our For those in our faith community of Our Lady of Lords here and around the world who are enduring trials and challenges in life, may God look graciously upon their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, May God bathe them with the light of his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass in a special way today for Dorothy, James, and Peter Dolan, and for Marjorie McDonald. May God pour his light upon them and embrace them in his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Holy Mother has asked us to pray for sinners. And so we do pray for the redemption of all sinners everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. And most especially for those souls in purgatory who are forgotten, who are no longer prayed for by name. Let us pray that God purify them and bring them into heaven now. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, hear these humble prayers we have brought before you and answer them, we ask, in accordance with the, your divine providence through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Thank you. 
friend here at Light Series. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. blood of Christ. Keep me safe for eternal life. Our spiritual communion. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Mm -hmm. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
what has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. What has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.